Hello and welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. In this video, we're going to talk about economy and uh, how you can improve your cash flow. So let's get into it. First of all, we have the state economy and you also have the private economy. You can check those in the first tab uh, here in the menu or hit the F2 key. Let's go to the state economy. Your annual uh, income is based on colony tax and tribute received. This usually is after you win a war, maybe someone wants to end the war and that you are winning and wants to pay a tribute to you. Colony taxes is the amount that uh, the population of your planet pay to you. So. If we go to this uh, planet, this is my um, capital planet. And if we go to this tab here, you can see that each planet has a revenue. The amount of money that the colonists, uh, the civilization uh, on this planet uh, have. Each planet has a corruption percentage uh, for this planet is 33 percent this is um, influenced by the size of the population the uh, tax rate if it was recently uh, invaded raided by pirates or other enemies and a couple of other things and if you uh, apply this percentage or if you uh, subtract from this amount, this amount you'll get the base revenue. This will um, have a tax applied to it. So currently my tax rate is 70%, which is kind of high, but we have a lot of bonuses on this planet. So it's okay. We have a 22 plus approval rate. So if you apply the 70% on this uh, base revenue, you'll get the gross tax revenue. And if you deduct uh, the support cost of this um, planet, which is based on the population, uh, if you have like um, above 50% of the maximum, if you have a um, population that it's not assimilated. On this planet, I only have humans, but you can have multiple races, uh, especially when you invade a, a new planet with uh, humans and it's colonized by some other species. And uh, this is the support cost. And if you deduct also this one, you'll get the 234,000 that we have here. This amount here is also seen uh, in this section. And uh, it's the amount that this planet actually gives you. So going back to um, the first tab, all the colonies uh, provide um, an amount. And if you also add the tribute, this is the amount that you'll get annually. So unless you're um, colonies are not being bombarded to decrease the population or something bad happens to them like a plague or something your population will probably grow and this number here will also grow depends on so also on the corruption the satisfaction of the planet and so on what we also have uh, after the annual expenses you will also have here an annual bonus and we'll uh, talk about that in a moment. So what are the expenses? First of all, it's the um, ship uh, and base maintenance. You also have troop maintenance and facility maintenance. You have tribute paid. This is also if you uh, pay gifts, not only if you pay uh, tribute for protection to pirates or um, some other faction. But also if you send gifts uh, in order to increase your uh, popularity with an um, independent colony or a new on another uh, neighbor. Uh, excess uh, um, 
money we'll get to these two uh, in a bit shipbuilding the amount that you paid for building new ships uh, recruitment and you also uh, pay for uh, resources so you can mine and get uh, resources from um, um, close by planets asteroid fields and uh, other uh, places in the um, closest uh, i mean not closest in the entire system but you can also have um, trading routes with other colonies with other uh, civilizations and you'll pay for um, getting like more um, rare uh, materials and uh, things that you don't mine enough so keep an eye on uh, that also uh, all ships have a, a fuel cost um, I mean they use fuel you can mine this uh, fuel but you can also buy it from other uh, neighbors uh, so for example if you have a refueling uh, treaty with uh, a neighbor um, friend or even ally if you refuel at their uh, docks then you'll pay uh, fuel costs also facility building if you build um, on uh, the surface on the surface of the planet and you also uh, have some losses if you are being raided by enemies okay so we also have the uh, annual bonus income uh, this is actually an income like uh, it is here but it's not uh, the same so it can go uh, up and down depending on different things so what we have here is shipbuilding uh, every time that um, the private sector builds ships at your docks or uh, even neighbors i don't think they can but i'm not sure let's see yeah you can also build for other empires but usually it's um, the private sector that builds them the ships that can be uh, built and not controlled by uh, by you uh let's see if we go to ship design you can see here the civilian ships the freighters uh, mining ships and passenger ships these are not controlled by uh, you but you get an income from uh, from those uh, you can get uh, an income from uh, trading resources so any excess that you have uh, you can sell to uh, independent colonies or uh, other uh, factions fuel sales also this is the same as uh, other resources but is marked separately tourism every time that uh, you have um, passenger ships that visit your um, let's see we can find them here so on planet which uh, have or uh, different sites which have scenery a bonus you can build a resort base and these are being visited by um, the private sector by civilians and they generate income and if we go back you uh, also get bonuses from uh, trade bonus i mean yeah it's annual bonus income from trade bonus some um, factions or uh, locations have bonus uh, income so this is also taken into consideration here and you also get from discoveries from uh, abandoned ruins and uh, repairing ships or other uh, other places if we go down to the private economy here you can see the amount uh, display for the private sector the um, amount owned the private cash the income and the expenses 
so this mostly go to you but they also pay some uh, some other factions so for example maintenance um, it's not paid to you the ship maintenance is just paid to i don't know somewhere <clears throat> but you don't get it colony taxes uh is the amount paid to you uh, minus the um, things that we discussed like corruption and um you buy uh, from that you get a percentage based on the tax amount and so on private fuel uh, this is the fuel that uh, the um, private sector buys from you or from other factions private tourism this amount is actually the um, amount that you get uh, here in tourism but you see here that this amount is higher because this means that we also have some tourism for from other factions uh, that are visiting our um, stations that we have near like uh, i don't know black hole or um, specific uh, other sites that we can uh, i'm gonna show you real quick so you can also have ruins that have a uh, scenery uh, like this one nine eight uh, percent or some other places on the surface of the planet or um let's see these are next to uh, some other planet i wanted to see if i can find a black hole or other things but anyway let's go back to our base and a private ship building uh, this will actually go to uh, to you uh, you can see this amount uh, seven million seven uh, hundred thousand is this amount here okay and they do have a private cash flow of two millions this is late game numbers so just uh, wanted to have more details to um, point and to explain if we go to the second tab here uh, funding levels uh, you can see uh, that the empire uh, funds are going into uh, reserves um, this is left unspent so 10 percent is left unspent um, ship maintenance through maintenance facility maintenance these are normally by default um, set automatically and they fluctuate depending on your um, I don't know how many ships you have or how many uh, troops these are set by the AI you can control this in the policy settings um, tab and the extra that you have so you have the total expense here and the excess can be um, distributed to colony growth or research if you have a high number here you can uh, if you go to the research tab here you uh, see that we have a maximum potential research and an actual uh, output so if you increase uh, you see that seven, 60 percent funding level um, is from here so here we have 60 percent and increases the um, actual output up to a maximum of uh, in my case uh, 6.88 uh, thousand okay so how can we increase this uh, these numbers first of all uh, as you can see the annual income here is based on the colony taxes so of course if you have more planets 
more colonies, you have more uh, population to pay the taxes, this will increase your income. So try expanding to new worlds. You can either uh, colonize uh, empty planet or uh, you can use the um, uh, where it is. You can use the um, diplomacy to uh, talk with different independent colonies, and um, you can send them gifts. And after you reach a certain level of trust, you'll see uh, the chances of success will go to 100% and you can colonize their, um, their, their world. Or if not, you can just uh, invade them. They do have a force that is defending um, so for this one, uh, you can see that the population is defending with uh, um, almost 600 strength. If you go with 1000 strength in the troops, you can probably uh, get this planet. They will rebel at the first, uh, at first, but uh, eventually the planet will uh, be yours. Okay. One other uh, way to uh, increase the uh, income is to improve your colonies like uh, let's see if we go to no not this one uh, my home base so you have multiple uh, things here to consider the quality of the planet you can see here that um, it's a base of uh, 78 you can use some buildings to improve this um, uh, quality by terraforming um, for the building that I have constructed right now it's only 5% maximum but it can go even higher you can uh, increase the the quality uh, also what you can um, do is provide them with better resources uh, certain resources uh, have um, an impact on the population growth. So if we go to this section here and if we go to luxury, you'll see that uh, these ones uh, have a bonus to colony development and population growth and colony uh, happiness development and so on so if you provide these uh, resources to the colony uh, then the colony will grow even faster the population will um, grow and then your income will grow in uh, in a previous uh, video uh, i did mention that uh, pirates pirates uh, will kill in your uh, ships and also the private sector ships like mining ships and um, also the freighters uh, those will carry uh, let's see if we can find some here uh, yeah so the freighters will um, get the resources from the mining station back to your base and you can see here we have some um, some four and some other thing. What you need to keep in mind um, is that maybe in the beginning you don't have like important resources that you want to uh, keep safe, but every time that a pirate kills a freighter, the private sector will try to rebuild it and you'll get an income from the construction of the ship. But if the resources that you are carrying are more expensive than the ship itself, then you uh, lose uh, money. So although in the beginning you cannot control every space and kill all the pirates and all the enemies that are raiding your mining stations and killing your freighters, uh, it is a good idea to... Um, guard the um, 
the mining stations or have some escort ships because for example uh, this one one uh, unit costs 100 credits and so on so if we go to all resources you can see the prices here and you don't want to lose the expensive cargo one other thing that you want to have is a lot of space stations uh, these are uh, built near uh, the planets where you uh, have your colony if you uh, colonize the planet you can build the space station and uh, those location the freighters will bring resources so make sure that uh, you have built uh, all the space stations uh, that you can uh, near your mining stations if we go to uh, buildings and new construction yards uh, i do have uh, like 68 colonies right now and uh, a lot of them are new um, in this stage but check this uh, tab here and make sure that you build the uh, spaceports so they um, can uh, access the um, freighters can access the space station and deposit the cargo also uh, the let's see if we go out in the universe if you have a space station um, here and you bring resources from here to this location it will take a while for the freighters to uh, go back and forth but if you have one closer it will bring it closer and then another freighter will uh, move it uh, as it is needed so uh, the private sector will transport the resources between the stations and the planet so you don't have to carry uh about uh, doing that uh, manually they will do it automatically for you but having multiple space station that means uh multiple places where you can uh, refuel and uh, if we go to uh let's see this view here you see this icon here and this means that uh, there's a refueling station there and the numbers that i've shown you are uh, late game numbers but i wanted to uh, display the um, all the options that you can have now or uh, later you can um, have multiple uh, trades um, pacts with different um, factions uh, trade agreements so we can have free trade agreement or restricted uh, let's see if we have uh, free here it is uh, restricted trade agreement uh, you uh, after you increase the uh, reputation with those uh, factions uh, you can um, have uh, after the restricted it is uh, let's see limited trade agreement and free trade agreement and you can also see the resources let me move this here that uh, the faction will um, and can supply you so these are the ones here and for this one which i have almost as an ally you can see that uh, you have more resources that you can trade if you have any other uh, questions uh, you can leave them in the comment and i'll try to answer them or if you have any other uh, tips and tricks on this uh, chapter you can share them with others in the comment section down below if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more uh, on this uh, game uh, gameplay or tips and tricks videos consider subscribing thank you for watching have a great day Bye-bye.